Are oh, you ready, kids? That's right. It's time for time and time, and you know what time it is. I said I'll count it down so you know what time it is. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? That's better. Okay, five, four, three, two. I'm Addison. And I'm Anthony. And this is Talking with Addison. Yay! Happy Wednesday. Are you sure it's Wednesday? Uh, I think so. Is it Tuesday or is it Thursday? I don't know. I get confused. Yeah, I know. It's okay. Well, happy whatever day it is. Yay! So, uh, I heard you, um, you sold out your tour. Yeah! I must sell out. Well, it's not clear what that means, but... I'm glad you sold all your tickets. Yay! Now I'm going to sell some of these records. I got clear vinyl now. Yay! I got black vinyl. I got clear vinyl. I've got rainbow colored vinyl. For those people that want the rainbow connection. I can't believe you just brought Kermit's name into this. Oh, I did. Hmm. Well, puppy, let's talk, talk about some other things after we take some calls. How's that? Okay. Well, hi there. It's Rufus. And sweetie, I'm so glad you sold out. You make the best sellout ever. I'm glad you sold your tickets, too. Ha ha. See what I did there. Now, we can just sell some of these records because they're all over the house. What did you say you had? Clear vinyl, black vinyl, rainbow vinyl. We need to sell some of these records. Maybe you should sell them three for one or something. Excuse me. Anyway. I got to get back to some woodworking. So you tell that Anthony I said hi. Or I'll just say, it. hey Anthony, hi. Bye, sweetie. Love you. Aww. But I don't think his three for one idea is a good one. Not, not unless the, the price of one record is the same price as three. Yeah. I see where he was going, though. He was, he was talking about just getting him out of the house. I know. Doesn't mean he's a good businessman. Business dog. Whatever. Yeah. So, Puppy, let's, uh... Anything else? Any notes you have? Like, any kind of awards coming up? Or, well, I heard that you've got an award coming up. Oh, you did? Yeah. You didn't hear, did you? Oh, you're getting a plaque for greatest artist ever. Okay, puppy, I don't believe you. Yeah, I write it in the fakery fake news. Let me roll my eyes again. Oh, you're going to hurt yourself. <sighs> okay. Here we go with another call. Okay, another call. Yeah, I got some paper clips for sale. Lots of paper clips, different sizes. So I'll clip your paper together. You might be able to do other things with them, but I don't know. Anyway, you can probably use them to clean your, your mouse ball if you still have one of those mouse balls that need cleaning. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, paper clips. You can reach me at 555. 4077 Ask for Clippy Clippy The caller's name was Clippy and they wonder what is wrong with this world What? Just a name, puppy It's not just a name, it's a stupid name What about Anthony? Is that a stupid name? Oh, that's the dumbest name ever Thanks You're welcome but, uh, you want to take one more call for the break? Before the break? Yeah. You know what kind of idiots we have today? Why are you so negative today? Have you heard these calls? I apologize for for everyone just 
Must be that kind of the day. Hey, screw you. What's that supposed to be? That kind of the day. That time of the day. What, is that some kind of code? You have something you want to say? Say it to my face. Well, yeah, I think you're being annoying. I think it's the kind of day where you're annoying. Oh, that's not what you meant, though, is it? Yeah, it is, okay? Puppy, you've been fixed. So you don't really have a cycle. So, let's go on to get one more call, and then we'll take a break, and you know maybe you'll get a better attitude or something. I'll screw you again. Push the button. You push the button. Fine. I'll push the button. Hey. It's coming up. It's 69 days to Halloween. You ready? You got your candy, your jack o' lantern, your, your scary movies, your, your files, and your, your swords, and whatever you do. It's going to be great. You come by my house, I give you, I'm doing trick or treat. Depending on if you're a kid or an adult, you get a different thing. You know what I'm saying? You know, they say that there's no razor blades in candy. Well, for the adults, that might be an exception. Or they might not. It's trick or treat. And I'm not going anywhere there. I think it'd be okay to go by there as long as you don't you know, pick anything up or put anything in your bag or... I don't even know about that. He seems weird. Seems like you might get some adult stuff if you go. Could be fun. Eh. I'll let you give me notes after. But let's go back to to the break. Go back to the break. I mean, I realize, Puppy, the, the important part is the commercials. We're just the filler in between making money, but going back, that's kind of a silly phrase. Yeah. Look, leave me alone, okay? No, I will not leave you. Okay, fine, I'll leave you alone. Anthony. Anthony, this is lonely. I know I said leave me alone, but I don't think I meant it. So please don't leave me alone. Are you sure? I think so, yeah. Okay. Then let's go to break. Yeah, let's go to break. See, here's some product being sold. Yeah, product. Hey, it's Fat Albert. And I want to tell you about one of my favorite places in the whole wide world and Canada. That's right. It's Pros and Beans. Pros and Beans Bookstore. I'll spend hours in there with a cup of coffee looking at books. Now, they don't really like me all the time because I don't always buy the books. But I buy some books, Kate, and they've got good books. But I just can't afford all the books I want. But they make the best coffee, and they have some good books. You should go buy them. They also have bookmarks and tote bags and I think I saw an arcade game, maybe some pinball in there. So, plus they're doing some readings this week. Next Tuesday is going to be Charles Dickens. I'm assuming it's a replica of Charles Dickens or a cosplay. I'm assuming it's not the real Charles Dickens. But if it is, even better. So go over there to Pros and Beans. City Hall will be closed from the 4th to the 18th for renovations. Hey everybody, it's Talking with Addison, yay! Anthony's over there, playing with the dials, pushing the knobs and such. Look, I'm just trying to DJ, okay? Got, you know, I got the crowd in Vegas listening to my stuff. Oh, whatever. You're not. You're silly. Anthony, 
Why do you have so many books? Well, there are books that I have read. There are books that I plan on reading. And then there are books that I don't know why. And why does this book exist in my house? Well, you've got a lot of books. So does Monty. It's true. You think you're going to fall over like have an avalanche of books? That is a possibility, puppy. I don't know if anyone has an opinion on this. I don't know. That's a good question. Let's find out. Yeah, let's take some calls. It's your old friend, Yosemite Sam, and I've got a bunch of books, too. I got a whole shelf on the history of World War Three. It's amazing. You should read some of it. It's great. Some of the strategy and such was just amazing. Anyway, I got poetry. I've got religion. I got some of that old time religion, if you know what I mean. Oh, just kidding. I don't have any of that old time religion. Anyway, I got all sorts of books. I got some math books. Those are weird. Talking about multiplying X to the 14th QR comma power something. I don't know. I got books like that. I got books like this. I got the books that go wickety, wickety, wick. Not that that wickety, wickety, whack. No. Anyway, so you collect all the books because you might need them one day. We might need the books one day. Yeah, I guess if you're trying to build something, you could always, you know, glue them together. Then you can't read the book. Sacrifice them. Hmm. How about one more call, puppy? Mm, maybe two more calls. Okay, let's do this call. Hi. My name is Jill, and I have a little library in my room. I got Shel Silverstein and Fun with Dick and Jane and Good Night Moon. They're really good books. I might even have Polar Express, but I'm not sure. Anyway, I think everyone should have a bookshop. A book, well, everyone should have a bookshop, too. But everyone should have a bookshelf. So, okay, that's all. Bye-bye. Well, that was kind of short. Yeah, she wants to have books to read. That's true. I think we do one more call, puppy. What do you think? Yeah. And we can go back to reading or something. You know, you, Puppy, do you read? Well, I don't because my eyesight and, you know, lack of thumbs to turn pages. But maybe you can read to me. Hmm. Okay. But until then, the last caller. Hi, everybody. My name is Bill. And I'm just calling here from Phoenix, Arizona. It's an amazing place. It's really hot right now. I was making breakfast for my co-workers by cracking eggs on the sidewalk and adding it to some toast. It's pretty good. They got this, this crazy salsa here. It's amazing. But it's glad to hear that the two of you are doing well. I have nothing but good things to say about you. So, I guess that's it for now. Hope everything is fine there. Maybe I'll come visit one day. I can be on the show with Addison and Anthony. That'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Me back in my old stomping ground. 
with two of the best people on radio. One of the best shows ever. Who knows? It could happen. So anyway, I think it's time for me to sign off. I gotta get ready for my show anyway. I'm still doing the show here, you know, last caller. Crazier in Arizona, though. They want to Make sure that Donald John Trump is not only put back in office, but has his own shrine, has his own building name, the Donald Trump White House. He wants to brand it, put a name on it. That's another show. We're talking about books, aren't we? Well, I'm talking about leaving. So... Yeah, I'll have fun now. I'm glad you got your Phoenix okay. Well, it seems to sound okay, but don't call us again. Really, seriously. We don't like you. Puppy, that's a little mean, isn't it? A little harsh. Why? For telling the truth? There are better ways of saying it. Well, than you. You do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Bill? Bill, was it? Bill, we really appreciate your call. Um, we we remember the fond times listening to your show. We didn't have fond times listening to it. We remember listening to your show. And while we we appreciate your, your offer to come visit us, we, we don't think it's necessary at this time. Oh, you're pretty good at this. Thank you. Are you going to close the show out? What do you mean, puppy? You know, like, end the show. Oh, what kind of idiot are you? Okay, puppy. Are you ready to close out the show and take a nap? I'm ready, for, always ready for a nap. Okay, puppy. Say it. I'm Addison. And I'm Anthony. And this is Talking with Addison. Now, let's try that again. I always screw that up. Okay, you ready? I'm Addison, and I'm Anthony, and this was Talking with Addison, yay! Now go brush your teeth.